Uh, hello, my friends. Uh, today I want to talk about React Hooks. It is about what is React Hooks or the why is React Hooks than just a uh, user React. So first, uh, if we see the what is React Hooks, uh, React Hooks was announced at React Conference 2018. And this is a new feature that allow you to use state without a class. Uh, and then uh, we can also see why we need React hooks. So the technology is always a further developed to serve the inconvenience or problem of things before that. Likewise, React hooks were also developed to serve the inconvenience and problem fail in just a normal React, which has been mainly used as a class component. So originally, the React mainly used the class component and React hooks used the functional component. So first, I just want to compare that part, just the uh, class component and the functional components. So first, uh, for the class component, yeah, it has uh, more feature available and longer code and more complex code and slow performance, just uh, compared to this functional component. And now the functional component provide the less functionality than class component and short code amount and simpler code and faster performance. I already wrote some code based on the class component and the functional component. As you see this code, the comparison. So actually, yeah, you can see the this one is longer and this one is shorter. But if we actually see this part. Actually, when we run our React application, we are not just using this code to run the application, but we first uh, need to compile this code by using the Babel. So actually, we can go to the Babel.js the website. And in here, if we go to this try it out tab, and I already just uh, compile just this class component and the functional component uh, by using this Babel. So you can see this very long part. So I also took a picture of this one uh, in here. So if you see this code, from this part to this part is for the class component and only this three line is for the functional component. So if you can just find so big difference uh, between this one and this one for the longer code or shorter code or a slow performance and faster performance and you can just see this part actually this line is so different uh, after we compile this class component and functional component that's why uh, actually yeah the functional component is the way faster and way simpler code uh, but we said in here, a functional component provide the less functionality. Well, we actually don't know what feature can be used compared to class component in functional component. So first, uh, we cannot use the state uh, inside the functional component. But more than that, the there is the life cycle in React JS, which is really important. I think most of people already knows what is life cycle in react.js but if i explain it again uh, if a react component has started so first we need to uh, treat this constructor part a constructor part is for the we set this initial state and then we can also bind the functions inside this constructor so after that um, we also need to treat this rendering part so rendering part is for this at uh, this part that can be displayed on the browser. So for us, just my name is something, something, something uh, will be displayed. But actually, you can see this this state and name part. This part won't be displayed uh, as soon as the component has started. Uh, the reason why is that we need to fetch this name's data uh, from the database or the API. But when we are uh, just uh, dealing with this part, we didn't fetch anything. So we need the part to fetch the this name data. So that is this part. So we can fetch the list or the any data from the database. Uh, we can do it in here 
inside the component did mount. And we also want to update this name state. Uh, that thing we can handle in here, component did update. And after using this component, we can also, uh, we also need to down this component because uh, we no longer use this component, hello component. So at that time, we also need to use this component with amount. So this is a React life cycle, uh, but we cannot use this important uh, feature, the life cycle inside a functional component. So that is why even the functional component components are more concise and faster, as you will see in here, like this. Uh, uh, we have used the class type component before, but this one actually has changed with the React sixteen dot a hooks update. Uh, because of this, the life cycle can be used in functional components as well. So as soon as uh, you start a component, you can call APIs and do many things. Then let's see how it became possible with hooks. So we also want to know how to use that React hooks for the life cycle uh, inside the code. So if we see it in here, so inside the class component, we use the component did mount and then we put some logics for fetching the user data like this we put all of the same logic inside the user effect hook and we can also now use the state or uh, inside the functional component uh, as we can see in here so we first set the initial state like this inside the constructor but we can just uh, use the user state hooks uh, for this name state and then when we update this name state, we use the set name. So now uh, it became possible with hooks. So are there any other benefits of hooks? So there are yeah many other parts besides this one uh, described above. That is, uh, if we see this code and uh, this code, uh, this one is uh, in the class component and this one uh, with the React hooks. Actually, this one's logic and this one's logic is exactly the same. Uh, what we are doing in here is the first time the component is mounted, we first uh, update the list by using this function. And after we change the ID, this ID, we can update this list again. So actually, this logic is very similar. It seems like it becomes duplicated, but we need to use both of them in here. But inside the React hooks, we don't need to be like that. We can just use everything inside the use effect. So if you look at the code on the left and then the code on the right, you can clearly see the, the code is more concise in here. The reason is when using lifecycle in class component, yeah, in here, a component did mount and component did update and component will unmount. Like just a component did mount and component did update, component will unmount. Uh, we need to specify everything for these three feature, but inside the hooks, we can just use use effect hook for these three of them. So that's why this code becomes much simpler than this one. So finally, uh, let's look at the one more advantage of React hooks. So that is by replacing HOC components with custom React hooks, uh, you are reducing too many wrapper components. So we actually don't know what is a HOC component and custom React hooks or wrapper components. So first we will look at these three the words. So first, what is HOC? HOC is a higher order component and a higher order component is a advanced technique in React for reusing, reusing component logic. So if we see in here what this means by using the code, so there are two components named uh, A page and uh, B page. And there is a part that use the same source on both page, here and here. And that part is the part that brings the user list. 
So we are trying to fetch the user list and we want to create an application that needs to fetch a list of users from any page. Uh, from A page, we want to fetch the users list and from the B page, and if we have a C or a D page, even there, we want to fetch the user list and then we want to display this user's information in B page, in A page, in C, D page. However, uh, if you put the same source to get list of users in all page, yeah, we can see there will be too many duplicates, duplicate this one and this one, this one. So HOC component is created for the duplicated part. So we can just put all of this duplicated part uh, inside the HOC component, as you can see in here. I already made the HOC component in here. So the common part of the getting the user list is put in the HOC component. And if you wrap each component with HOC component, so if we are trying to wrap all the component like a page component and b page component uh, with this hoc user hoc component so we do not need to bring a separate user list from the old component like we already put this part inside the hoc we don't need to put this part uh inside a page or b page as we did in here like this but before hooks came out uh, this method of using HOC was very recommended way. But even in here, there is a problem. Uh, the problem is that there can be too many wrapper components. So if we see in here, all of them are HOC. So we usually use the HOC for, for authentication because all of the like component needs the authentication and also need the theme and also need the language because we change the language like uh, English into the Korean yeah all of the page it needs to have the Korean language and we also need the docker theme uh, we also need to change all of the component into the docker docker theme that is why we need to have so many HOC component yeah so if we have more and more it can be like this yeah, some people say this one is the wrapper hell. So um, if this situation happened, actually it is really hard to understand the data flow. That is why we need to avoid this kind of situation. So now we know the problems. So how do we solve this problem? So actually we can do it right with the custom React hooks. Custom React hooks. So now uh, we can see this the code in here okay this one is the code that we use the hoc for the duplicate part and then we left all of the component uh, by using this hoc so we change this hoc part in by using this uh, custom react hooks so i made the uh, use us custom react hook and inside in here uh, I put all of the logic for fetching user list and and this function returns a user's list and then we bring this uh, custom react hooks inside this uh, a page component and so now we got the user's data without wrapping this a page with this HOC so we can just uh, use this user's data to display uh, all of the user list uh, on the browser so um, this is why React Cook is really needed and uh, really impressive. So I hope uh, this video can be very useful for you to understand why React Cook is really nicer than just a React. Uh, they originally always used the class component. So um, and there are more features we can know inside this uh, React Hooks. So I'm going to take care of them later. So thank you for watching this video and see you later. Thank you.